بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم جی اسٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم آئی ایم مس رضیہ بشی فرام یونیورسٹی آف ایجوکیشن لوہر مکل کیمپس لاہور آئی ایم کو ٹیچنگ زو جیوگرافی اینڈ پیلینٹرالوجی دا مین ٹیچر ٹو دی سبجیکٹ از ڈاکٹر محمد مدرسہ شہزاد فرام ڈویژن آف سائنس اینڈ ٹیکنالوجی ٹاؤن شپ لاہور Today we will discuss our next region that is the Neotropical region. This is also known as South American continent or South American region. Here in the world map you can see the major biological regions Palearctic, Neoarctic, Australian, Afrotropic and Neotropic. This one is basically the Neotropical. This is mainly uh, famous for its football countries. First we have the Chilean sub-region. It includes west coast of South America. It contains Indies Mountain in Bolivia, Peru and Argentina. Indies Mountain series is the world's longest continental mountain range. It is a continental range of highlands along the western coast of South America. Here you can see uh, the yellow highlighted area represents the Indies mountain series. In this series, most of the active volcanoes of the world are present. At the highest elevations, most of the volcanic peaks are present along the Andes mountain chain. Out of them, Cotopaxi is the highest active volcano in the world. In this sub-region, the peak Lirvana includes three-toed ostrich, which is also known as Rhea Americana. Clams and oil birds are also common in this area. The second main region is the Brazilian sub-region. It includes tropical forests of South America. It shows evergreen forests. Plains are also seen. Divers are present. Hence more vegetation is seen. This area is very rich in fauna. Peculiar animals over here include American monkeys, blood sucking bats, which are also known as the vampires, and armadillos are also common. Mexican subregion is the third main region in Neotropic. North of Isthmus of Panama is called Mexican subregion. This region shows rocky mountains. In this region, commonly occurring mammals include tapirs, reptiles include mud terrapins. The fourth subregion is West Indies or Antillean subregion. The region contains West Indies islands towards the Atlantic Ocean. These islands contain mountains. In this sub-region, the vertebrate fauna is poor. Five most dangerous volcanoes of new tropical region. First of all, what is a volcano? A volcano is an opening in crust which allows hot magma, volcanic ash and gases to escape from below the surface. In this map you can see the yellow highlighted areas going to represent the location of different volcanoes in your tropical area. The first one among most active volcanoes is the Copahau that lies in both Argentina and Chile. 
Its elevation is approximately 9.7 to 8 feet. The volcano was formed approximately 0.6 million years ago. The second is Perinacota, which is located in Chile and Bolivia. Third major volcano is the Sajama, which is located in Bolivia. However, it has not erupted in the last 10,000 years. Fourth one is the Qualatir, which is located in Chile. This volcano is still treated as the active one. It means it erupts regularly. Its recent eruption took place in 1985. The fifth one important volcano is the Lascar, which is located in Chile. It is also an active one. Its last eruption was in 1993. Coming to the fauna in neotropical region, as we know that most of the biological diversity is concentrated in the neotropical region. It has a wealth of peculiar, diverse and specialized fauna, which is represented by 155 families of the terrestrial vertebrates. It is the highest number of endemic families of vertebrates present in any of the ecoregions. Fishes of the neotropical region mostly are freshwater fishes. The important features of the region are the absence of carbs. In this region, South American freshwater lungfish is also present. Catfishes, eddyfishes, guppies, thyrosins are shared with the Ethiopian region. Here you can see guppies, lungfish, catfish and carotins. Gymnotids, which are also known as the electric eels, are also present in this area. However, they are not related to the mermaid fish of the Ethiopian region. Amphibians of the neotropical region shows great diversity. In this zone, 14 families of amphibians are present. 82 species of Sicilians and about 200 species of salamanders. Tree frog and tailed amphibians are only represented by one family which is known as the Oedipus in this area. 14 families of the amphibians include Buffonidae, Centrolanidae, Dendrobatidae, Hylidae, Leptodactylidae, Microhylidae, Pipidae, Ranidae, Enophrenidae, Ambistomatidae, Plethodontidae, Salamandridae, Sirenidae, and Cecilidae. Here find some of the beautiful pictures from amphibian fauna of the neotropical area. This is the tailed amphibians of neotropical region. Coming to the reptiles fauna of neotropical region, in this area the reptiles resemble those of Ethiopian and Oriental zone. It includes alligator and crocodiles. Turtles and tortoises are also common. Five families of lizards are reported in this region. It also includes the poisonous lizard Heloderma. Entity is also present over here. Crossosauridae is also present over here. You can see some of the pictures of reptilian fauna of the neotropical area. Here are some snakes of neotropical region. That is all about our today's topic. Thank you all for listening and learning it carefully. If you have any question, you may ask through the Google Classroom.